What's up guys, Paul Salmon here. Gonna do a little gyro plane flying today. And we're gonna cover what happens if the engine quits on takeoff or shortly afterwards. And that's coming up. take the M16 out, the Magni M16, and show you that if the engine quits, what you need to do right away is get that nose down and pitch for your uh, usual approach speed of 60 to 65. So we're gonna go out and fly it. I'm gonna do a few power off landings just to give you guys a, a look at what it should look like as far as the approach angle for 65 miles per hour. And again, if the engine quits, first thing you need to do is get that nose down and pitch for that 60 to 65 mile an hour attitude ride it out, start a little bit of an early flare to start recapturing that energy, and then simply sit the aircraft down uh, quite nicely. And if you practice it a bit, it would be a good idea to practice it with an instructor. <laughs> and uh, you can get pretty proficient at it. You guys, what to do if your engine quits on takeoff? Keep power on the map, uh, Gray, when you are. There! Keep power, experimental 257 Charlie Charlie. 257 Charlie Charlie Tower. Throw on a ramp, Cape Copter, I'd like to taxi out to uh, runway 2 at Alpha for departure, like state of pattern. Two five seven Charlie Charlie Cape Ground Runway Two Taxi via Echo Bravo Alpha Delta Hold short Runway Two Eight at Delta Wind Three Four Zero at Seven Altimeter Two Nine or Nine or Three uh, Echo Bravo Alpha and uh, Delta Could I get a intersection departure off of Two at Alpha? Number Seven Charlie Charlie Affirmative uh, Hold short Runway Two at Alpha And hold short of uh, Two at Alpha when we get there for uh, Seven Charlie Charlie. I'm going to set my altimeter here on zero so you guys can see at what height above the ground we're at. I'm going to go out today and uh, do a engine out on takeoff. Show you guys what you need to do to try to get the aircraft back on the ground safely without bending anything up or hurting yourself. This is specific to the Magni gyro, but other similar gyros are going to have very similar speeds. Hands up, Charlie Charlie, ready to go, runway 2 at Alpha. 7 Charlie Charlie, roger, runway 02 at Alpha, clear for takeoff, make left traffic, uh, use caution for mower right of runway. Got the mower in sight, uh, left hand pattern on the go for uh, 7 Charlie Charlie, 7 Charlie Charlie. Got well over 200 RPM, so coming on in on the power, lightly forward on the stick. Charlie, Charlie, turn it off the downwind for runway 2. 7 Charlie, Charlie, runway 02, clear to option. 
I'm coming all the way out of the power. Takes about that attitude right there to maintain 65. Come down. A little bit of a flare to slow the descent. Now we are on the ground. All right, now we're going to take off again. Got a little crosswind from the left. We'll hold a little left stick in there. We're on the go. We're climbing out at 65. All right, so there's a, oh, there's about a 200. Lost my engine. Get that nose down. Get it down. Get it down. There's my 65 attitude. Coming on down, looking a little bit of a flare, just to kind of start, slow the descent. On the ground. Let's try that one more time. Climbing out of 65. Now, if the engine went right now, i got plenty of room to land. i pitch my nose down and land. Now, I'm going to show you guys what happens if you're of the paranoid type, like me. Coming around here on the downwind, let's talk to the tower here. Yeah, Cape Tower, 7 Charlie, Charlie's on the downwind for two. 7 Charlie, Charlie, runway zero, two, clear the options. Here for the option, runway two, 7 Charlie, Charlie. So let's say that you uh, take off. And you know, instead of climbing out of 65, you got to take off. Cape Tower, uh, copter 109, Bob. Got a big old runway in front of you. Yes, sir, we're on the ramp over here. Uh, we'd like to depart VFR, uh, heading uh, 330. 109 or Papa, Roger, uh, you can taxi uh, to uh, Bravo Alpha intersection and I'll uh, get you from there. Okay, taxi out to Bravo Alpha. Uh, All right, we're coming around. Dragging in with a little power 
to do a short field landing here. If we can kind of land her on the stripes here on the end of the runway. So now, now we take off, if we let our airspeed come on up to like 75, even if the engine quit and I was only 25, 30 feet in the air, not a problem, there's 65, so I'm letting my engine, or I'm sorry, let my airspeed come on up, there's 75, right? my engine just went, guess what, all I gotta do is lower the nose, right on in, flare a little bit, I'm on the ground, all right, try that again. Seven Charlie, Charlie, extend your downwind, I'll call your base. Send him a downwind, you call my base, seven Charlie, Charlie. You with the numbers. Number 528, Fort Cape ground runway two, taxi via Bravo Alpha Delta, hold short runway 28 at Delta. Runway two, Bravo Alpha Delta, hold short runway 28 on Delta, 528, Fort We're just moseying along at 65 here. I'm waiting on Seven Charlie, Charlie, uh, traffic is uh, crossing uh, runway uh, 02 now. Runway 02, you're clear for the option. Clear for the option, runway 2, 7 Charlie, Charlie. So we're going to get her, drag her in with power at 55. Do a nice short field landing. We'll see if I can actually get it on the stripes and relatively uh, pretty much stop on the stripes on the very end of the runway. Got her on the stripes and stop. Cool. All right, we're on the go again. Yeah, I got a pretty, uh, pretty good crosswind from the left there. All right, so again, I'm letting my speed come up. SF580, whatever, there my mansion. All I got to do is just keep the nose down a little bit. It'll come right down. There a little bit. Right on the ground. All right. I think we'll call it call it a day here. So if you're on takeoff, you're climbing out at 65. Got your nose up pretty high. Let's say you're climbing out even slower, 55, 60. That engine goes on you all at once. You have got to get the nose down. Get the nose down and pitch for that 60 to 65 mile an hour attitude. And, uh, you know, don't forget to flare. That's how, you, uh, that's how you recover your energy. Okay guys, so there you have it. If you lose an engine on takeoff, you know you need to get that nose down pitch for that 60 to 65 mile an hour approach speed. And guess what? If you take off and take off at 55, let your speed come up to about 65, and then slowly let the speed as you're climbing out come up to about 75 or even 80, if the engine goes at 75 or 80, it is exceedingly easy to get the aircraft back onto the ground without any great difficulty at all. So again, you know, being the paranoid type, I typically, uh, uh, if I got plenty of runway out in front of me, or even if I got a grass field, I mean, whatever, I'll let my speed come on up because if I lose the engine, it's just that much easier to get the aircraft back on the ground. Now remember, this all has to do with kinetic energy. If you're going 70 miles per hour compared to even 60 miles per hour, 
you have a significant increase in kinetic energy. 70 squared is 4,900 units of energy. 60 squared is 3,600 uh, units of energy. So you've got uh, almost a third more energy and that energy is recoverable. So it can't recover all the way down to zero airspeed. So you give yourself a lot more options if you're climbing out at 70 to 75 and lose the engine. It becomes much easier to get that thing back on the ground and uh, without, uh, without hurting yourself or hurting the aircraft. So. Okay, well, I hope you liked the video. Found it uh, at least partially helpful and entertaining. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. That's some deer. I got two of them. One, two, three. One, two, three. Heading for the woods. They've been rolling into this turn. Go almost 90. Back the other way.